Hi guys, this is Hailey. So today I'm going to talk about how do I keep my skin clear. I'm not going to talk about drinking a lot of water or using specific brand products, but I'm going to talk about lifestyle habits. So starting off my skin type, I have normal and kind of dry skin. I suffer from acne on my forehead area when I was in middle school, but was gone naturally after I graduated from the middle school. So actually, I don't have many experience about my acne, but I know how to keep my skin clear with some very basic habit. So first thing is no makeup and natural makeup. I did a foundation course two years ago and at the time, I was really really busy. I did want to focus on my study because I wanted to go in university which I really wanted to go. So I decided to focus on more like priority things which was studies. And I always had lecture at the time like from 9 to 3 and then I came back to my home and I did work. I just didn't want to waste of time that I don't think is important so that's why I quit the makeup at the time and since I was 20 it was my first time for not doing makeup for like six months my thought of skin was completely changed at the time so I just focus on more about skincare so my skin condition was the best at the time i just wanted to share you guys my experience it's really hard to not wearing makeup at school or work but you could try to minimize your makeup from normal makeup to like natural makeup first of all i could suggest it's related to the second one but i could suggest not wearing foundation like it would be awkward to show your real skin. I used to use foundation often but at the time I realized that my skin condition was becoming worse because I wore a lot of foundation to make my skin lighter with the powder and things like that so I got quite a lot of pimples. I could say it's 100% work for me and I still doing this if I go to school I wear makeup but very minimal makeup like now I went to seminar today but I'm just wearing a bit of concealer a little bit bronzing powder and uh, blush I think this is the best one you could try natural makeup is the best and no makeup is more than best but yeah and second one is no foundation foundation free so i know how foundation can make skin like more beautiful and flawless if you keep relying on the foundation then at the beginning you might start i like foundation but you might move to i need foundation so don't just let you go to i need foundation because you need to know like no one cares if you have pimples even if i have like pimples on my forehead i have a bit of pimple i don't actually cover it because who care i don't care if i want to use a foundation i normally go to like sheer coverage very natural foundation my friend charlotte um experienced the big differences from not wearing foundation. So last year she struggled like skin problem. I suggest her not wearing foundation because she wore like a thick foundation on her face which um, didn't need to. I suggest her to not wearing foundation because I, I saw her when she was doing her makeup. She wore like um, more than one pump foundation to all over her skin and she doesn't actually need that so a few days later she told me that she found the differences her skin condition became much much better so she's mm, like kind of reference for me so let's see her interview i bring my reference to prove the power of <laughs> no foundation so <laughs> I'm not wearing foundation today, no. I'm just wearing concealer. 
Where? And obviously bronzer. I mean, where did you put the f- oh. concealer on? So I put concealer mm. under my eyes um, to brighten them. And if I have any spots, mm. I put it on that. Yeah. Um, yeah, Heidi's skin's always really good. So I was like, how do you get your skin so good? She was like, don't wear foundation. Mm. And because I used to wear foundation more for the colour because, like, if I don't fake tan, I'm quite pale. So I used to wear it, but then you said to me once. Because I haven't been wearing foundation for about six months now and I really have noticed a difference. Mm. So just think, like, in maybe six months or a couple months... I won't need to wear it, sort of thing. Mm, exactly. <laughs> so, but it, I suppose it is hard for some people. So, we need to know what is good for our skin and what is priority. So, third one is sleep before 12. I currently start to change my sleeping pattern. I go to sleep normally like 11 or half past 11 and I wake up at 6. Going back to when I did the foundation course, I did the same pattern. I woke up at 8 at the time and I slept before 12. I remember it was around 12, 11 and half past 11. So my lifestyle pattern and sleep pattern was very consistent. Exactly the same like every single day for 6 months at the time. My skin looks just very glowy with a natural glow. So. I realized that lifestyle habit and the pattern is very important for your skin conditions. A lack of sleep, you will definitely see your dark circle underneath your eyes. And the fourth one is using clean pillow cover. I wash my pillow cover every week, but if I feel like I need more fresh one, then I use a fresh clean towel and put it on the pillows so I can sleep on the very fresh and clean pillow which is very very makes me feel like oh I'm safe my skin is very safe so we wash our face every single day put like good moisturizer on our skin and then if you sleep on a tea pillow cover it will make your skincare meaningless so for me Keep pillow cover fresh and clean is, is very, very important. And the last one is using a cleansing water. I'm just using any non-alcohol cleansing water to wipe out my face. When I get back to my flat, I always, always cleanse my face with a cleansing water. Because I also use a cleansing form later, but you will feel like lazy. You just don't want to wash your face like straight away after you get back to home so that's what i recommend you guys to use a cleansing water because you have makeup on and there's like some dirt on your face but you don't want to wash straight away it could be remained like for two or three hours or more than that before you go to sleep after soak a cotton pad with a cleansing water and swipe my face and you could see some many dust and things like that but if I want to wash my face straight away, I still use the cleansing water because I don't want to like rubbing my face with dirt and any, any other things. So I just always, always use a cleansing water even if I wear makeup or not makeup. And then if I want to wash later after using cleansing water, I, I just use very simple moisturize too because if you use a cleansing water, you will feel like a bit of dry on your skin. So I use a cleansing water every, every single day. These are my five tips. Lifestyle habit obviously suit me, but I want to recommend to try at least try a minimal makeup or natural makeup. Your skin will not completely be changed after you change the pillow cover but this is just little habit you can do on a daily basis and having a right and good habit will make your skin much much better and it could be like long process i hope you guys find this video very helpful thank you for watching today and we will see in the next one bye